Cheers. For this adventure, I would ride the all new Scrambler Ducati Cafe Racer through the beautiful wine regions of Tuscany, Italy. The plan was simple, ride some brilliant biking roads, visit some historic towns, and definitely enjoy the local food along the way. My first stop was a World Championship winning gelato shop in a medieval town. This well-known historic town was also a tourist trap and when I saw the size of the line for the gelato, I knew I wasn't even going to get a taste as there was no way I was going to waste time studying the line when I could be out riding. Here we are in the beautiful town of San Gimignano. Now this place is encircled with a beautiful medieval wall that actually dates back to the 12th and 13th century. But as you can see from behind me, it's absolutely rammed with people. So let's jump back on the awesome cafe racer and go hit the road. Oh, once away from all those crowds of people, it was then back to business, riding the twisty open road. Rambler Cafe Racer is making light work out of these endless corners and I'm enjoying every mile on this stylish machine as I now ride to the next historic town and food stop. So we're here in Montepulciano. This is a beautiful historic town, but this is the end of the road. We can only walk from here. But let's go and check it out, take a look around. I must confess, I do have a few sins of my own.
at that, Tuscany is absolutely beautiful. And from this angle, you can see all of the amazing roads that we can go and ride today. Stunning, it was well worth coming up here. Anyway, I've worked up quite an appetite coming up those stairs, so let's get some lunch. Unbelievable. The cheese is fantastic, the meat, incredible. Forget the burger, it's all about pasta. The pasta's handmade here with just a typical meat and ragu sauce. Very tasty. I don't think it can get much better than this. Awesome motorbike, delicious food, incredible local wine. Forget riding this afternoon, I'm off for a snooze. <laughs> After a quick rest and a strong Italian espresso, it was then back on the road and leaving this gorgeous town behind me as I now rode to our final destination of the day and deeper into these gorgeous Tuscan hills. Like much of Italy, the further away you get from the city, the twistier the roads get and the fresher the food ingredients are. Stunning vistas are absolutely everywhere. Check out that town. Now heading into the heart of the countryside and riding to a place where they grow on premises and the owner is also the cook. Oh, and there's no better way to work up an appetite than riding your motorbike on brilliant biking roads. Here we are at an agriturismo, which is basically a bed and breakfast. Here at this farm they produce their own food and this evening they're going to be cooking a really special home cooked meal which will be totally delicious. Oh, today's roads have just been fantastic and it's so great to be at the farm just in time for dinner. The starter, yeah. some bruschettas with fresh tomato, bruschetta with mixed cheese, Pecorino from Pienza. Bon appetito. Yeah. I don't know how bread and tomato can taste so good. Spelled soup with fagioli beans from our farm. I didn't even know I liked beans. Homemade spaghetti with broccoli from our garden and sausage sauce. Pork filet wrapped into crispy bacon with baked potatoes and apples. How many courses are we at now? Three, four. Homemade tiramisu. Mmm. And to finish the night off, homemade grappa, homemade limoncello, and an espresso. Cheers. <laughs> this is what agroturismo is all about. Close to animals, close to nature, growing your own produce, raising chickens, goats, sheep, whatever that you're going to use that food for the customers on the land. It's a really, really amazing place. It really is farm to table because it doesn't get much fresher than this. This is breakfast here at the farm. What we've got is some freshly baked goods here. Bacon and eggs, some ham and cheese, and some fresh fruit. Top start to the day, healthy start to the day. As I said goodbye to the agroturismo, I would then start the day off with a gentle ride on the local trails.
Oh, and as I hit the road, those brilliant corners were just waiting for me. It was straight back into riding corner after corner, as I enjoyed meandering through the valleys on this awesome cafe racer. Oh, what a great morning, amazing roads, absolutely fantastic. Scenery spectacular, but it's lunchtime. So once again, we're gonna go get a feed. Look at that, free parking. We've got here some fresh meatballs, stuffed zucchini with meat, and some buffalo mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, and a little bit of basil. Everything here is just so simple, but so good. And after a tasty lunch, the endless corners just continued. Wow, this is moto heaven. So we're here in Rocca di Orcia, up on top of a hill, a beautiful castle, stunning scenery. Look at that. How can you possibly get bored with Tuscany? It's incredible. The rolling hills, the fantastic windy roads, incredible valleys, I mean spectacular. running low on gas. I was just relieved to see this little gas station at the side of the road. Time now for a topple, but then back on the road for more twists and turns. And as I came into this old town, I just made sure I got another one of those espresso shots. These are a great and easy pick-me-up, especially when you're on the road. It's always great to see dedicated motorcycle parking, and especially other bikers. Yeah. <laughs> Scrambler man! <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition, this one's sweet. Look at this thing. Wow. So we're here in Montalcino, on top of a castle overlooking an incredible vista. Tuscany, as I've said, is stunning. It's very historic in just about every time we come across. Amazing biking roads in every direction. Perfect. Pace of life is so relaxed out here, even a cat can rest on the railway tracks. But the beautiful landscape continued and so did the corners. But it's good to slow down once in a while and soak it all in.
the end of my Tuscany adventure was near, so I just enjoyed these windy roads until the end of the day. This adventure had been nothing short of spectacular. And as the sun went down, there was only one way to end this. And that's with a huge thumbs up.